Hello YouTubers, today's video is going to be a, one that's been requested many a time. Um, on my old channel I did a tour of my apartment and everyone was saying what sort of clock radio is that? Where did you get the clock radio? What does it do? How does it work? Well, today I'm going to be reviewing it for you. So it's the Sony, very lovely and complicated name, the Sony ICF C1 IP MK2. Nice and snappy. Rolls off the tongue just like that. Anyway, let's get into the review. As you can see, we've got a nice clear uh, clock at the bottom. I do find this, though, is very bright. Even on the dimmest setting, that's the brightest, medium and dimmest. Even on the dimmest setting, it illuminates my room when I'm trying to sleep, which is quite annoying. But I've kind of got used to it, so that's not too bad at all. It's obviously got the clock time here. Um, it's got the alarm time on the right here and then iPod or whatever has been last been playing. Now on the top you've got controls. Don't know how well you can see that. But you've got the time setting controls here. These are for the alarm setting around the bottom here. Two alarms, alarm A and alarm B, I'll show you about those in a second. The sleep button, that like uh, changes the timer so you can have it playing whilst you go to sleep. Which is quite cool. The Mega Expand, now that's a strange sound feature. I, I will tell you about it when I've read up on it myself. <laughs> the snooze button also doubles as the dimmer switch. At the top here we've got 1 to 5, which are the presets for the radio. Audio in, now that button toggles the audio in, so if you've got, and on the back I'll show you the ports. On the back there's an audio in jack, and if you press that it will play whatever's coming through that basically. Volume, it's pretty obvious, and then over here, I'm sorry about the lighting, we've got off, obviously that turns whatever's playing off, radio one. How exciting is that? And then tuning left and right, or track forward and back, or um, whatever that is, and play and pause for your iPod. That's pretty much all the controls. Now let me just go through the back side of the device, if I can just unhook it from my dead side cabinet. Get the light in here, useful. Okay, now on the back here we've got the audio in jack down here. That's just a standard three and a half, so you can use any mp3 player. The AM antenna socket, I haven't got that plugged in because AM is a waste of my life and then there's the power cable and the aerial cable for FM which are inbuilt and you can't remove them. Now this knob here you twist that and it controls how far in or out this stand is. So if you've got a nano you can have it like that. If you've got a big chunky classic you can have it like that. The iPod, touch and iPhone is somewhere in the middle. Okay let's go through some of the features then. Right then, here we are with the radio. Now, if I press alarm A, see at the bottom here, it now says alarm A. If I press alarm B, it also says alarm B. Now let's put these two on, so I can turn them off like that. Um, if I hold on to alarm A, it starts the flashing. Alarm A, time is flashing, so I set that with the clock plus and minus keys. Press it again, it sets the minutes. Press it again, this flashes radio. Now, what I can do here, with up and down, is I can change from radio to iPod, or to buzzer. So I can wake up to tune from my iPod, from the buzzer, which is very annoying, or just the radio, which is what I like. Um, press it again, Wait, wake up volume, so if you like your alarm to be quiet you can change the volume that it comes on at, which is different to the standard volume. So there you go, so you can do exactly the same thing for alarm B and it will show, if I press this middle button here alarm display, it uh, displays the time for alarm B, which is 12am. I don't fancy being woken up at 12am but I don't usually use alarm B 
Let me think some of the other features. Ah, I'll put my iPhone on and we'll see what happens. Right then, back in a reasonable location. If I just adjust this, because I've just been uh, messing around with it. I can put my iPhone in. Making a lovely buzzing noise there. Now, as you can see, I've still got it in my rubber case. Which is useful, because you can put inserts in the bottom of here. Like the Apple Universal Dock inserts. Um, it means... Originally there's a big gap, so I just leave the big gap and put it in with my case. It does mean it wobbles a slight bit, but who cares? Now having it in there means I can play music. And something never comes, never Use my nothing, nothing remote control. That's his Foo Fighters. I just turn the volume down a bit. See the volume down here? This is just by the remote control. I can skip tracks. That's Everlong, quite a good one. Um, I can go into the menu. Can I go into the menu? Probably if I unlock it. Yeah. Na -na -na. I can control it with the up and down on the remote control. And obviously, at a long distance, this could be quite difficult to control. I can see my eyesight is terrible and. Uh, that's not going to be very good at a long distance, but you know, most people just skip tracks or whatever. Press off, that turns it off. Um, I could turn the radio on, probably. Yep, there we go. If I press band on the radio, instead of uh, iPod, I press band, and that brings on the radio. Nice bit of whatever this is. <laughs> Terrible reception here. I find the reception on the radio is quite good. I've just moved it around trying to do the review, so it's, it's not that good anymore, but if I adjust the uh, aerial, it's better. Volume up and down, I can go through the presets that I've got. I've got the local radio station. It's beautiful. I don't know what else is there to review. The sound quality is excellent, I'd say. If I... I can go between AM, FM2... You know, there's two FM tuners, so I can have up to ten presets. So obviously one to five on FM1, one to five on FM2. tune with the remote control, everything you can do on top here, except for the alarm stuff, you can do with this remote control, which is pretty good. Turn it off, because that's quite annoying. Back onto the alarm iPod. If I crank up the volume, we'll see the sound quality. That probably won't sound that great on here, but it is pretty good quality, even when cranked up quite loud. You don't get any distortion until you get up really high in the volume ranges. So I'd say it's an excellent choice, and it's not too expensive. I think you can pick this up at around £60, maybe even cheaper if you can search around online. Press off there. The great thing about this also is it charges your iPhone, obviously. So when I wake up in the morning, my iPhone is fully charged, which is always useful. So there we have it folks, the Sony Clock, I'm not going to say the name, the Sony Clock Radio, let's call it. But a link downstairs to the Sony official tech specs of this Clock Radio so you can see for yourself. And if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask in the comments. If you've enjoyed this video and want to see more like this, please subscribe, click the yellow button up there, um, rate and comment downstairs, and I'll see you soon.